Hello, hello. So, for me it was time for another art challenge, and normally I do them on my own, but this time I was so happy about what I got that I thought, let's try to make it into a video. And I know art related or drawing re related videos don't do so well on my channel, but let's be honest, none of my videos did so well so far. And when I started all of this, I planned to do sometimes dolls, sometimes drawing, sometimes sculpting, and because the dolls did so well, I just turned to the dolls. And that will change now. So, I found this anti art block roulette on Google. I couldn't find who did it originally, but yeah, I gave it a try. And the first thing was not so really nice. I had a theme crystals and princess as the character, and quite a strange color scheme. That was what I came up with, and I wasn't really digging it. So, I decided to make a second try, and what I got there was so exciting that I just thought I want to film it. Because it was galaxy, demon, and a color scheme that I just loved right from the start. So that is what you will see me draw today and I hope you enjoy it. The moment that I saw the theme with Demon and Galaxy and everything, I was totally digging it and it straight up came into my mind to draw a demon with wings that have the galaxy in it, in the skin thing part of it. And yeah, it, to be fair, it was not the most creative choice. And um, normally it comes to don't draw the first thing that comes to your mind. Uh, but I love the concept. <laughs> I mean, what's not to love about a bulky, muscled demon with galaxy wings? Yeah, the nearly nude guys are kind of my thing, I think. So, <laughs> I first planned out the whole figure, his bulkiness and the wings, and yeah, that was something too, I thought, yes, oh yes, oh baby, yes. And yeah, then I made just some sketchen, uh, sketchens, <laughs> sketchens, it's a nice word, sketches for uh, the whole, yeah, how is it called? The way he will be portrayed, the perspective, and yeah, you know what I mean. And because I made at least one person laugh with all the things that I left in with my bad English, I decided let's dig it. Maybe this will get my um, yeah, my special thing in videos to have such a bad English that native speakers will laugh at me. And it sounds all the time as I would say that they love me, but now I, uh, I mean that they laugh at me. So from ha 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 and so, um, yes. And after I finished the sketches, I started with um, the main sketch for him and gosh i was so proud of myself i did some yeah more or less 
tracing last the last time on my uh, laptop with a tablet and just traced over some pictures to get an idea for things like yeah other perspectives and how some things that I struggle with are drawn like when the head is tilted a little bit up and I used all of that or tried to use some of that for this drawing and it worked it worked quite well in my opinion and I know I will offend a lot of people with that but for the first time in I don't know how long when I was when I finished the sketch I uh, uh, I sat there looked at it and thought gosh it looks as if someone who knows what he does has drawn that and normally I, I I do like my drawings they are not the best but they are not the worst either so I'm fine with what I achieved so far with not being trained in it and just learned everything by myself but I am drawing since I was 14 and most of my drawings are let's say a little bit lifeless a lot of them just look as if you could found, find them in a very poorly made catalog with clothing and late uh, I started to yeah try to get a little bit more life in it some more dynamic poses and he may not be the most dynamic he is standing there quite boring <laughs> But the goal I had was that it feels as if you were looking from the bottom up to him and not completely but just a little bit. And I think I achieved that and I'm a bit proud of myself. And if you know me, you know how often I say that I am proud of something I did. That it's that 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 is not so very often. And today I say it. And yeah, okay. Enough uh, telling you how great I feel about him. <laughs> I made the decision that because he is a galaxy demon, he needed some yeah star signs and stuff like that and I went only with the constellations in the end because I felt his body was a little bit crowded with all the symbols on it so and I don't want to distract from the muscular body yes and this was just something I said because I still think it's quite strange that Maybe because I am gay, I draw nearly every guy half nude. And with my dolls, we have nearly the same problem. So, yeah. Um, just to make it clear, I am quite ironic with this. <laughs> of course, I could draw nearly every guy in full clothes, but. Yeah, I think that is where you see that I'm just a, uh, just a guy too, because let's face it, when a heterosexual guy draws a w woman, most of them wear only armor bikinis, when it's fantasy, and obviously when I draw guys, most of them don't wear much either. So it seems to be a guy problem, or a man problem, or doesn't matter. I'm not proud of it, but I like it. Strange. Very strange. Doesn't matter. So I was very proud with just the line art and I took a picture because I wasn't sure if I would be able to nail the coloring. 
though the color palette was quite clear, <laughs> because let's face it, in the art block roulette there was the palette you had. I decided to go just with grays first and then use more or less the lightest version of the colors in the color palette um, to go over it so that I would have some deep shadows and yeah just the idea of the basic color and yeah just making it in black and white or gray in 50 shades of gray no I don't like that <laughs> It turned out quite nice. It was a bit more to work on, but I thought it looked quite well. And though I already was sure that the whole background will be quite dark, it was such a pleasure to not have to look for the lines. <laughs> So, I did my best to stay in the lines, but when I drew over them, it was like, meh, doesn't matter. <laughs> because I knew everything that surrounds him would be quite dark in the end, and you won't be able to see much of the things I screwed up, or the places I screwed up. And that was particularly handy when it came came to the wings because yeah as i mentioned in the beginning i decided to put a galaxy onto the leathery skin parts and with the tearing at the end of the wings it uh, I, uh, I would have never been able to stay in line <laughs> because it was the second time I made something galaxy-like with alcohol-based markers and the first time in this scale and gosh was it annoying <laughs> because um, yeah the markers I have change a little bit in color when they dry I think that is something that nearly all alcohol-based markers do but with the ones I have now, it's yeah, it really shows up for me. And having to blend these colors together was cry quite tricky. And I did my best with it, and I think it worked. <laughs> so with grace and everything, it was quite yeah smooth sailing because I tried to put the body into some smaller sections and just yeah color every section on it own, uh, on its own and that went quite well because yeah the ink is still a bit wet when you go over it with the next color but for the for the wings it was such another thing because, uh, yeah, blending Galaxy with alcohol markers, I think it needs some training. It is possible, and I think it went quite well in the end. Uh, but but it, 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 it is tricky. Just to say it. If you ever want to do something like that, just so you know. Before I started the galaxy on the wings, I shaded them a little bit, because uh, with drawing the galaxy, I wasn't planning on <laughs> doing the shadows too in that step. Yeah, and first I tried to find the more or less lightest versions of the colors I used then I used some of the basic colors too then and um, 
from my experience with this. If you ever want to draw a galaxy with alcohol markers, start with the lightest color, then slap some darkers on and cover them with the lightest again. Don't start on a dry surface with the darkest color. That is something that goes for every drawing with markers and every time I draw something new I forget about it. <laughs> Such an incredible thing. And yes, I used some darker purple or more vib uh, vibrant uh, purple, turkle, <laughs> purple on the first thing of the wing. And yeah, maybe you should first let everything dry and look how it looks. It's such an amazing thing to first see what you did and then decide if you need more color. Yeah, live advice from someone who doesn't follow these advice. His self, on his own. English, such a strange language. So while I color his body and yeah, the loincloth just with one color because we already have the light and the shadows. That was very, very nice <laughs> to do. Um, and then color the background. I just want to uh, mention what I said in the beginning of the video. I will focus more on random stuff because that is what I wanted to do with my channel from the get-go and yeah just because some of my doll videos did quite well and I thought oh, maybe I would get some more subscribers with it I changed to be mostly a doll challenge and yeah it's it was nice for a time but I stopped making a lot of videos and um, at the moment I feel I'm going back to more videos, what is quite nice. And though it didn't change a lot when it comes to subscribers or views for my videos, I will start just doing what I, what I want. <laughs> and everyone who watches my videos, I'm happy about it. And I really thank you for watching my videos. Maybe we will get somewhere with that. So, and then I um, took out some white acrylic and just dotted on some stars because, let's face it, what is a galaxy without stars? Then with one last step and yeah, some more line art, I cleaned up everything. And so my galaxy demon was finished. And don't lie, I don't want to lie to you. I really like this guy. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed my journey too and my kind of voiceover. And we will see us the next time with a video that I will decide what to do in the very moment. I make it. So, have a nice time, and until then, bye.